So when working with transistors, um, it's always important to know which ones you're working with, either an NPN or a PNP. The trouble is it's, di it's difficult to tell them apart just by eye. Matter of fact, you probably can't tell them apart just by looking at them. So in order to um, figure out which one's which, we have to do uh, a test on them. Okay, so first of all, here are some transistors, well, two of them. And the first thing we want to do uh, in order to be able to use these is identify if they're NPN or PNP. Now, if you just take a look at these transistors here, you'll notice that they look pretty much identical. Uh, they are identical. Um, they both have three legs and one side has a flat side and the other side is rounded. Uh, but other than that, there's no way to really tell them apart. The leads are shorter on one only because I pulled this from a circuit and I was using it previously for something. Uh, but other than that, if you take an NPN and a PNP, they're going to be exactly the same. Like no So in order to test a transistor to see what it is, you're going to need a multimeter. Multimeter I'm using right now is just a basic uh, Mastercraft multimeter. So what you want to do is set the multimeter to the diode testing setting uh, as indicated by that symbol right there. I'll see if I can get a better zoom. Yeah, you want that symbol right there for diode test. And what you want to do is you want to just take the leads, positive negative leads, and put them on the transistor here. So I'll start with this first transistor here. So what I'll do is I'll put my negative lead on one of these legs here and the positive on the base. And we don't get any reading on the meter here. Hopefully you can see that. We don't get any reading, or any reading on the meter there. Uh, so now, if I flip the leads around, I'll put the negative lead onto the base and the positive one on either the emitter or the collector and we get a reading here. So likewise if I take the positive and switch it over to the other lead here, we get a similar reading. So that would say to me that this transistor right here is a PNP because the negative lead is on the base. So the base is negative. So this guy here is a, a PNP. So what I'll do is I'll just put a box over here, call it PNP, and I'll just slide this guy in there. So now we want to test this one. This one's gonna be an NPN because I only have the two types here. But in order to prove that, what we'll do is we'll take the uh, multimeter leads again and we will put the positive lead on the base now and the negative lead either on the emitter or the collector. And you notice we have a, a reading here. And likewise, if we switch the, the negative lead over to the other pin here, we get a reading. So as long as the positive lead is on the base and you get a reading between either the emitter or collector, you'll know that this one here is a PNP, or sorry, an NPN. So the positive is, in the, is the base. So now we have our transistors figured out. Let's put this one here, NPN, draw a box on there, and I'll throw this guy in there. So in there, we have our transistors sorted out. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it informative. Um, if you want, and I, I kind of encourage it, uh, if you head over to my Facebook page, www.facebook.com forward slash Powertrace Electronics, uh, just go ahead and like that page there. I'm trying to build uh, a community of people uh, in that page where we can all sort of work together uh, as beginners or intermediate people or someone with advanced skills that, that we can kind of all benefit from that. All right, thank you very much.